Hello, good morning everybody. I know we're early this morning, but it's only because I have to take my daughter to um, school this morning. So I figured I would do a live and if I, um, if I have to leave 10 minutes early, then at least I'll have gotten my 50 minutes in. And I know you guys don't mind. Some of you will be awake. Some of you will not be here or awake. If you are here, say good morning. Good morning, good morning. I was going to do it on Instagram, but then I'm like, nope, not doing it on Instagram. Hey, Tash, how are you? Um, You can see my mess. So I've just come downstairs to my art area. So I'm going to be cleaning up and working on this portrait today. This was from Japan. And I love the scene, um, but I'm going to do it on this little, um, on this little canvas. So in acrylics. So I'm going to translate it to something that I would put on my wall. Although I could probably frame this and put this on my wall, but I like the image. So I'm going to see how it translates into paint. Um, good morning, Louisa. Hello, Julie. Good morning. Hello, hello. Look at my mess. Um, this is my next 100 day project. I just put it up on my on my site. It's called Everyone Loves the Sunshine. Uh, the song is um, a memory from when I was in my teens by Roy Ayers. <clears throat> and if you get it in your head, you will know, honestly, it's not going to leave my head for the whole day, but I'm not going to sing it to you because I'm not a very good singer. So I won't sing it to you. Meryl, you are awake. Oh my goodness. And hello, Christina. Christina, I was thinking about you, you the other day. We have to get together before you leave for the UK. When do you leave? Okay, so I have my paints on my right. These are all yesterday's um, images from Malaysia. Uh, we were doing <clears throat> color blocking and pen work. You can see some of them. Some of them, the difference is quite huge. And I'm not sure which one I prefer. Actually, I know which one I prefer of this one is definitely the color blocking. But some of them worked better than others in pen. For example, this one was definitely better in pen than the color blocking. I think it's when it comes to details and things like that, that um, these two were actually very similar. So this one was pen first and the wash, and then this one was color blocking and pen. So it's an interesting exercise that um, I know that many of you have done with me, but I like doing it in our classes. Thank you, Julie. Hi, Rashmi. How are you? <laughs> Meryl's like, I'm loyal. You are so loyal. <clears throat> you're probably up early and you're like, oh, she's got, she's going to be on. Easter Monday you're leaving. Oh, that's soon. Um, that is very soon. Okay, that's a couple of weeks. I think we could do a lunch date, couldn't we? Christina, a sushi lunch date. I think that would be lovely, lovely, lovely. Try and get together before. I know I've been so bad, sorry, at getting together. Um, if you're just joining, welcome. I'm doing, I'm revisiting landscapes this week. The month is called a Magical March and um, I have a fabulous idea for April and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about that in our Patreon meet that I am organizing today for this weekend. <clears throat> so stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, let's get some paint going. Christina says, yes, I think so. Mmm, sushi. And I have a new place for us to go to. So it's um a little bit closer to you, actually. So that will be, that will be lovely. 
All right. Yeah, I wasn't too sure, Julie said beautiful portrait. I wasn't too sure about putting portraits on my 100 day project, but I actually, I, I worked on a couple of them and I'm like, actually, I really like how it turned out. I think that's a portrait that I would put on my wall because it's sunny and, ex and like I said, exudes, exudes warmth and sunshine. So yeah, so I would put that on my wall. All right, I'm going to get some colors on here. I'm not really thinking, I'm just plopping them on. I'm not very happy with my, my greens that I am creating with my, with my acrylic paints. I think I need, I may need to go to Michael's, but I'm sticking with it for the portrait class. Don't worry. I'm not going to go and get new paints for the portrait class. Yesterday we had a great day in our portrait class as well. Um, with our acrylic portraits, I've been doing one on paper and one on um, canvas. So this is on canvas, as you can see. Um, it's not too big. It's like a foot by a foot, 12 by 12. And it's actually been really lovely to paint on canvas, the portraits. But then also we've been doing on board like this is on um, hot press paper so acrylics on hot paper hot press paper is lovely and also <clears throat> yesterday we did a quick study of the same image of the portrait that I showed you first and that's just on cardboard so I just prep the cardboard first but it goes on really lovely uh, it goes on really well rather um, so it's uh, the class kind of combines working on both so you're never you're, you don't have to have canvas if you don't have canvas you can work in a sketchbook if you really want to how are you all and what are you working on it is Wednesday today uh, we have another portrait class today and another virtual art retreat. I'm super excited about Malaysia's water scenes that I have. They just look glorious. I'm super excited to paint those. Um, and what else? Julie says, I am about to work on my lunch. Ha ha ha, sorry. That's okay. I, I will have something to eat later. Okay, I'm going to mix up, um, I'm going to do the grey first, I think. So this is the image that I'm working from. And it's an image that we, we did in our virtual art retreat. So I would share the image, but it's kind of um, personal to having done it in the retreat so some of my retreats are on my website if you're ever looking for one if to travel virtually somewhere it's always a nice uh, nice idea to just wander virtually through the world painting I mean Christina will be off soon and be blessed to be around beautiful landscape and cliffs of, I guess spring will be starting to pop up. I think it's early over in England, isn't it, Christina? Okay, need it a little bit on the bluer side, I feel the gray
I'm going to paint the edges as well. Christine says, spring sprung in February in Cornwall. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. How long are you going for, Christina? <clears throat> Good morning, Sarah. You're up early as well. We're, um, I'm doing another landscape, Sarah. I have until Friday, I think, to do landscapes. And then it switches, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have next week is portraits and then we have cityscapes and then we have interiors. So that's our plan. And I'm working on a piece from Japan that I, I really like the little image. So I want to translate it into a painting and I'm just color blocking right now. So I'm almost taking the painting as if it was um, a photo and just working it from that, like that way around. Instead of looking at the photo again and painting it, I'm taking the, the image and working from it, from the paint, from the piece that I did in the virtual art retreat. That's bright enough. Julie, did you do another? Oh, it's Wednesday. You're probably busy at the um, Brighton. What's it called again? Brighton. Not Portrait Club. Oh my gosh, my brain. Draw Brighton. It came. It came to me. Draw Brighton. Have you been drawing with Draw Brighton this morning already? Draw Brighton. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I did Jesse's session. All right, it's the yellow that I'm not too happy about. It's just not giving me that bright green that I wanted. Maybe, maybe it's the yellow that's not the best. Could be because I'm not washing my brush as well. That could be the reason. So this little canvas has been painted on quite a few times. Before I put the um, layer of gesso and mixed paint on, there was a portrait, but a tiny portrait and it wasn't finished. It was actually a study for a class that I was teaching grade eights and grade sevens um, an in school portrait class that I was teaching. Because I used to teach grade sevens and eights before the pandemic, I would go in and work with the teachers and incorporate art into their into their curriculum for their last or second to last year in elementary school. And that was really enjoyable. 
also we would um, whether it was within their literate literacy programs or whether it was math or um, history sometimes um, one school we worked on presidents or prime ministers of Canada and they had to choose a prime minister of Canada and do their portrait and that was um, that was cool so we broke down the portrait and I taught them all about values and trying to get a likeness <laughs> uh, Louisa says that sounds ghastly patriotic. Uh, you know, there wasn't really much talk about um, <laughs> the prime ministers while they were doing it at all. Like it was, you know, I'm sure they, I'm sure the teacher would have loved to have known that they were getting something from it in that sense. But they were more concerned about the art and painting and creating a portrait. I don't think they could have given to about whether it was a, a prime minister that they were drawing and they both they all chose um and then one year it was uh, women in history in Canada who have been um celebrated so that was that was a good that was a good class as well <sighs> Uh, Christina says, I'll be there for just under six months, Shah, and then back for surgery and the winter. Okay. Whoa, six months. Wow. Well, oh, that's fantastic, Christina. I mean, not fantastic that you're going to have surgery when you come back, but I'm glad that has been sorted so that you can recover and um, then be here for six months and then you can leave again and enjoy Cornwall. I know that you usually go for three and three. Funny trying to translate an image onto canvas. I think yesterday is translated well. I'm not sure if this one is translating well, but I kind of like the abstract feels about it. Good morning, Janice. Louise says, hi, good morning, Louise. Um, I have been trying to finish last week's portrait. I'm struggling with lemon yellow. Yeah, lemon yellow may, may work better. The 
the cadmium I think is too is too warm I think that's what my issue is and I need to I have two warm yellows and that, that's what I think that's what's happening that's what's going wrong and I'm using a lot of white so I think I need to pick up some more white so I'm going to look and see if I can find a lemon yellow I'll let you all know if I do and I'll test it I guess maybe I, I probably do have a lemon yellow when I work with watercolors. <clears throat> this bit is not, it's picking up the blue from underneath. Um, so if you're just joining, I am working on a scene that I did in the virtual art retreat of Japan and I am it's called revisiting old revisiting work so this is I'll show you the image so this is the image and I'm trying to translate that into this piece I'm just going to use my dryer for a second because this is way too big here <coughs> Hey Nick, how are you? Good morning or good evening to you. Next month is going to be a fun month um, and it will be a shared Padlet again in April. I know some of you are doing 30 faces 30 days um, and unfortunately I can't do that in the mornings but I can do something else which will be a lot of fun and probably will help some of you who are working on portraits. So, especially if you're working on them for your 100 day project. Anyway, it's, I will reveal what we are gonna do in April in our Patreon meet this weekend. Nick, what are you working on this month? Do you have anything? Or are you taking a month off? Which is not really like you. <clears throat> have you recovered from number 11's birthday? Okay, that needs to be a lot more orange, so I'm going to mix more of an orange for that. And then the building actually comes further up here, so I'm going to add that up here as well. Yeah, my that color completely changed on me. Completely changed on me. Okay, let's try. Mix up a better orange. Uh, 
That's better. Um, Nick says, I'm struggling to find time at the moment, but these landscapes look awesome. Oh, thank you. You know, it's interesting how your brain approaches something when you look at it again, like you're painting again. It's almost like a breakdown of, of what you painted and how you want to perceive it in your next piece. I, <clears throat> I really like it. I like the fact that, um, you know, like all that color blocking that we do, this, this way of working, you're simplifying the image yet again so simplified it once in the in the form from photo to image like in our class and then again like in um revisiting it this month so i actually really am enjoying it something that <clears throat> i did once in um in many moons again many moons ago in a foundation course that i did up in london we had to create an abstract piece and it stuck with me like i took this scene from italy that i had traveled over to italy with my sister and it was a boardwalk and i did a realistic piece from it and then i broke it down and you just keep working over the top of it well, not over the top of it, but you keep working from the same image and just it's like Chinese whispers, basically. So that was really interesting. Like this, I don't think I want to put the black on there. So I think I'm just going to make a really dark, either a dark brown or a dark purple. Let's take the magenta into the orange and see if I mix it because I can put this color here and see how it looks probably not dark enough Yeah, I don't think I want to go darker than that. Okay. I should be mixing with a palette knife, shouldn't I? And maybe I have a smaller brush right now. Uh, Louisa says, I'm struggling full stop at the moment. Time is also hard. I mean, yeah, I think it's, um, I think the time of year as well is a hard time of year. But it feels good just to do a little bit every day. I think anyway, I, I it it's important that I do the little bit every day.
Um, good morning, C. Louisa, Louise says, Guru just had to stop listening because my phone rang. Oh, it's okay. You didn't miss much. Louisa says, yes, it's bleak and seasonal something. <laughs> it's true. And Nick says, I know I have a better balance when I do art daily, but work has overwhelmed of late. I need to get back on track and find some time to... Yes. Yeah. It's, you know what, we can let a lot of things overwhelm us, but I think um, just giving yourself time, whether it's for meditation or yoga, which I've stopped and I need to start doing again, or art, I think it's important. Okay, there are some areas which are still wet, which I don't want to go over. And I need to add I'll take a smaller brush. A smaller flat brush. Let's have a look. My brush is so loaded with paint. Add a little bit more of the magenta and blue and make it a little bit of a deeper value. Uh, Nick says, I received a beautiful teapot card from you, Shara, last week. It made my day. Ah, I'm glad it arrived. Hang on, was that February or was that, that was February or January? My gosh. Because the February, March one came out, got sent together because I was so late with the February one that I thought if I send the, Feb the March one early, and you know, this is our, we're going to have to have a party this, this, um, the, on the 16th. I have to figure out what day the 16th is. Anybody know what day this, oh, I can just look, hang on. Oh, the 16th is a Saturday. Well, that's perfect. We can have a party, a four year old party. We're going to be four this year, everybody. I can go over. Who knew a little painting like this would take so long?
Is Mr. Um, Eleven doing a project this month? Art project? He hasn't got you all tied up in another project. Nick? Oh, maybe January. It should say on the card, but maybe I didn't put it on the card. Like, you never know. Like, sometimes, sometimes the mail... Well, no, no, it will come in two different envelopes. That's for sure. It's not just one envelope. I did package them separately. Did C, C, did you get yours? Heike got hers yesterday as well. Nothing here. Oh, it'll come then soon. Nicole Nick says, we're playing lots of board games in the evenings together. Is it like, are you feeling that autumn is on its way? Nick, I know you're on the other side of the world, so. Are you, is it ready? Is it like soup time already? Thinking about winter coming? Or is that not until later? I think we went through a big board game phase as well with my, our youngest daughter. She loved just that whole being together. Okay, I'm going to go over all these with this color. I have to get some writing on that. I mean, it does look a little bit similar. I think I kind of preferred it before I put all the dark colors on. I may have to dry it and work over, over it. Because these got a little bit chunky. Ah, it's always soup time, although I'm too lazy to make soup usually. Our soup is great. And Nicole says, Nick says, well, my other kid got a vac. Oh yes. Oh no. My other kid got evacuated due to bushfire last week, so not yet. Still hot. <gasps> 38 degrees on the weekend ahead. Woof. Yeah, that's warm. Hang on a second, everyone.
nice. I think taking away from this, I think I just need to know when to stop with a piece because I kind of liked it before all of this darkness there. But I think I can, I can eliminate some of it or at least make it a little bit smaller in some areas. Still some of that orange I can put in. I don't like this piece up here. Sometimes less is more and I feel like I just did too much more. And this is exactly what I need to be working on because a lot of times I'll see a sketch and I really want to see how it is translated onto canvas, like with paint. And um, it's not always easy or what I want or what I think it's going to be. So I'm not sure even if I want to add, I think I have to, I'm going to add, there's a pinky, a ready pinky color in some areas, which is a little brighter. I'm going to add that. I don't think I'll add the lines of the road. I think that would be too much. I may add the white dots, but not add them as dots. Janice says, my paintings are never what I think they're going to be. Ah, <laughs> oh, Janice. Yeah, but then you get the odd one, right, Janice? That you're like, oh, actually, that one I like. That one I really like. Do you put, do you hang all your paintings up, Janice? I really like this pink. I'm going to add a little bit more of this pink.
And what else can I add? Oh, I want to put those over here. I only have a little bit of time left. I'm just going to mix up another grey. And just break up that gray a little bit, a little bit here. Maybe I'll just put it in the light gray instead. Hmm. I think my internet is playing tricks with me again. Did I lose you guys or are you still here? Uh, Janice says, no, I don't hang them because we rent and I can't put that many holes in the walls. I rotate a few of them, but mostly I have stacks of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they build up. You're going to have to do some art fairs, Janice. Okay, I am going to put a few little dots and I could do this with Posca, but I'm not going to. I think that's all I'm doing. I want to put too many. Actually, I should probably put some lighter area over here to bring my eye over here. Well, thanks for joining everybody. I know <clears throat> this was an early, early morning one, but thank you. And I will see some of you at 10 a.m. And I will see some of you at 1.30. I love it. If you want to come paint with us, sign up. If you've done a class with us before, let me know so that I can send you a, a coupon. You've only missed one week, really. And I'll be sending out the Patreon meets this weekend or for this weekend Nick did your clocks go back and can you make your time early morning Sunday if you can then I will make sure the time is around that time for one of them All right. Uh, aren't you worried that you'll accidentally wrote something vulgar on the sign? Yeah, but that would be quite funny. Maybe I should use Google Translate to see if I did write anything. Okay, so do I love it more than the, um, the sketch? I don't know. I mean, I think there are similarities and I think it's quite an interesting, um, it's quite interesting to translate a sketch or a painting that you've done in multimedia into a painting. So I think you should all try it. Try it, try it. Nick says, I like it. Thanks. 
Uh, clock's not changed yet, but maybe. Okay, let me know. DM me, see, tell me if you, um, Nick, if you can. And if you can't, then I will work it around to others. But really, I mean, it's, if we do one, it will be, I could do a catch up and chat early on Saturday morning around this time. And then we have our 10 o'clock and then it would be probably around three o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for joining everybody. I have to go, I have to go take my daughter to school. Have a really great day if I don't see you today. Bye everyone. Bye. See you at 10. See.